So, Hana, being a peace activist, what is your take on this current situation which is happening in Ukraine? Yeah, I think it's a really a complex situation there. Mm hmm. And people are really uh, following what the North American media and the Western media is telling them. Right. You know, uh, people forget what happened in uh, 2014 when the U.S. carried a so-called colored uh, coup against the legitimate government in Ukraine. So it's uh, really complex, you know, I mean... You, you would want to be in a, a perfect world, not to invade other countries, but if other people are threatening your security, you know, I mean, most people act. And people also forgetting that the most aggressive nation on earth, as uh, uh, even uh, President Jimmy Carter said, is the U.S., and uh, they use their military everywhere. Mm -hmm. They bomb everywhere. They kill and maim everywhere. So this should be taken in context when we talk about Ukraine. Right. And, you know, to be frank with you, I'm disappointed with many of the leftists mm -hmm. who just uh, have a knee-jerk reaction uh, depending on what the media says and tell them to say mm -hmm. or to do. Right. So I really want to hear you out on this, Hannah. Uh, why this hysteria and what is behind it? And also the way BC government has got involved. They have banned Russian vodka. I mean, I, I can understand, but you have been raising voice for the banning of the Israeli liquors all the time. That was never even, nobody even bothered about that. So yeah. you, you take on this. Yeah, we've been campaigning actually since uh, 2008, that's almost 14 years ago to take the Israeli wine that's uh, produced in illegal settlements, which is against international law, against United Nations resolution, and against the Fort Geneva Convention. And they're carrying it in violation of, of all of the above, the, the B.C. government. Hmm. And they, they now tell them, they tell us now they are concerned about human rights and they can act in two days. Uh, against uh, Russian liquor products. So it's really uh, uh, not just hypocritic. It's the least mm. it's hypocritic, but it's also, uh, you know, racist because mm. they, they deal with, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, European countries differently than they deal with the third world countries, especially mm. black or brown uh, people. So it is uh, at the core of the supremacist mentality hmm. of uh, the uh, governments and the authorities in the Western world. Uh, you know, and it's immoral, it's uh, unspeakable, uh, uh, you know, crimes that they are committing against the third world right. by really supporting the war crimes and the apartheid that's taking place. Last time we talked about Amnesty International report apartheid, they haven't acted on it, uh, the, our BC government. And again, you know, it shows the callousness and the immorality of such people that are governing us. And, you know, it's, it's not just the NDP government, because who asked them to put the, uh, to, to ban the uh, Russian liquor was the liberal leader mm. in the in the in the parliament you know in, mm. in uh, victoria mm. so clearly they're both on the same page they both uh, support uh, western imperialism they both support mm. uh, the status quo they all both uh, discriminate against indigenous people whether in canada or all over the world so i don't know what's the difference why people pick one over the other, and they, they're both reactionaries, racist, and immoral uh, politicians. Mm -hmm. Now, Hana, uh, can you explain that how it reflects on the NDP, which claims to be progressive, which claims to be a uh, left-wing uh, political party in Canada? I mean, how does it reflect on them? Many of the MLAs and uh, ministers in the NDP government cabinet, they come from the 
ट्रेड यूनियन बैकग्राउंड लेबर बैकग्राउंड आई मीन दो ट्रेड यूनियन है वॉइस अगेंस्ट अपार्थ हाइड ऑल्सो द इजराइली एग्रेशन सो वट हैज गॉन्ट रॉन्ग एक्चुअली you know the it reflects really badly on the ndp especially mm-hmm. because the membership of ndp passed a resolution uh, you know uh, saying that uh, is israeli products that come from illegal settlements are illegal and they shouldn't be uh, imported to canada or anywhere in the world i mean there is they have a resolution in the books so if if your membership saying that and the leadership goes against the membership whether in uh, in BC or in Canada in general mm. then wh- why why have convention why pass resolutions i mean it's not a democratic they show themselves that they are not really a democratic party if you democratic party you respect the wishes of the membership mm. so it's it's the bureaucracy that uh, leads what's happening not just locally but their uh, international position and uh, what the hell they have you know uh, to do with international issues they told us many times uh, that you know this uh, the liquor situation is decided by the federal government not by us and now you see no they uh, they lied the the clearly they can do it as they did it with the things uh, with the uh, with the russian uh, liquor right. also they told us uh, abby uh, he used to be hmm. the minister responsible for the liquor stores he told us it's a consumer choice wow. well okay my consumer choice is to drink vodka yeah. why you are denying me my <laughs> consumer choice you know it's all uh, lies 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 that's all they doing lying to us and really uh, you know uh, excuse me uh, that i'm upset but it's really immoral and what they doing is beyond belief mm-hmm. and beyond the hypocrisy i can understand i can hear you out uh, hana it was nice talking to you thank you so much for your time it's a still a developing story just keep us posted and is there anything i didn't ask you before i let you go yeah thanks a lot uh, gorbi thank you for inviting me take care hana talk to you again bye for now